the fish that we eat. They know the very movement of it. They know the very season that it's going to be there. Because there's no grocery stores like now. You have to go out and get what they're going to swallow. They call it yachkuha. That means it's time for this. It's time for this now. It's time for this. They get ready. Some traditions remain unrestricted. Each April, the herring arrive in the Tongas to spawn, marking the first fresh wild food of the year. The community comes out to gather the eggs together. If you put up enough food, dried enough fish, dried enough deer to live through the winter, you really look forward to that herring coming in because it was the fresh food. And it was a community activity it was shared with everybody. Using a method passed down through generations, the Tlingit anchor hemlock branches in the water for several days. The herring deposit their eggs on them. It's hard to even believe there's a branch underneath that. When it starts out like uh, something like this, we'll end up like this. Subsistence is not our word, it's a Western word they have the connotation of being needy or welfare. And so the Tlingit have a saying, it's ha at chayi ha kustayi, which means our food is our way of life. 